So these are the Molex uh, 200 amp connectors that I've been sent to take a look at. This is the little sample kit that's uh, turned up. The 200 amp rated 600 volt and this is the 8 millimeter system, sorry, 8 millimeter diameter pins. I've been sent two male pins, one is press fit and then one is already press fit into this little plate. Three female parts, um, this one is also press fit and this one has the float within the, the female contact and then this one is a solder version um, and also has the float in it uh, he says it does honest on there we go there we go and then this one here doesn't have any float it's another solderable uh, connector designed to go in a copper plate and be soldered in um, but it doesn't have any float so the, the pin will fit in there and then you'll see this if I come in uh, okay so probably you'll see there and the float is in this centre part of the female so if you've got any misalignment <laughs> if you've got any misalignment then as you plug the two parts together this centre part will move uh, and give you the electrical contacts, the correct alignment. Uh, initially I was going to look to see if I could modify these coils um, that I've wired to go into my current amplifier. So you see sometimes because this all flexes in the coil, I don't know if I push them in, it's quite subtle but there is flex in there and these when I plug them in. The original plan or an idea would have been to use these with this I guess you can perhaps get away with just one pin um, unfortunately with the connectors I've been sent that's uh, not going to be so easy um, they do do a smaller version of this 6mm and I think it's a 3.5mm or 3.75mm and that have lower current ratings and they do do as well as a press fit, they have a screw and fit in the 6mm which would have worked quite well with the coils if that have uh, screwed into there I could have screwed that and clamped the coil wire in place and that would have worked quite nicely uh, and that would have been one use for them the other um, uh, use that I have coming from the industry that I work in with a lot of 415 switch gears we have um, what we call demountable or rackable switch gear and that you can slide in and out of position and these have electrical connectors in them and again a float mechanism in them could be advantageous to prevent wear on the contacts of them I'll stick a little video up from Eaton that gives a demo of a, a rackable piece of switch gear uh, so you've got an idea of what, I've, uh, what I'm on about with that but uh, those are the two immediately obvious applications to me um, the contacts, although they are uh, 200 amp rated, um, it's quite durable really. They've got a 200 cycle mating limitation on them. So what I was going to do and get hold of a linear actuator and set this up with one of the males, one of the females, and then carry out mating cycle and measure the resistance every mating cycle as it's going up and see if there is any appreciable increase in resistance they also have a spec for the mating force so if I could find a sense to measure that as well I will be able to include that and see if the mating force decreases as the number of mating cycles increase and that's what I would plan to do with these at this moment in time 